Hello, everyone. Welcome back to HRT, Honey Rose Tarot. How are you guys doing today? I'm cleansing your energy right now, guys, with some Palo Santo. All right, and then I'm going to get right into your reading on who needs a message from Spirit next, okay? Let's see what sign is up for a reading. So let's cleanse the energy. Who is next? Who is up for a reading next, Spirit? Let's see who is up for a reading next from Spirit. Let's see. Gemini. All right, gems. Okay, so if <clears throat> these messages could be for you guys if you um, have Gemini anywhere in your chart or if you are dealing with a Gemini, okay? Remember, guys, energy is fluid here. Don't forget to um, switch, switch the roles if need be, okay? Messages here for my Geminis, okay? Spirit, what's going on for Gemini? All right, what is that? In my, it says, in my lane. No, 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 I'm sorry. It says, in my zone. In my zone, minding my own business. That's you? You just in your zone, minding your own business, Gemini? <laughs> Sounds like you. Okay. All right, when I split this one, it says, tyrant. Cruel, obsessive ruler uses force to control people. So you could be dealing with a tyrant here. We've been getting a lot about that in the, in the readings here. Someone who's a smoker. Okay, let's see, Gemini. Let's, let's see what come out for you guys, okay? All right, guys, welcome back to my channel, subs. Okay, like I was saying, thank you guys so much for all the love and support to show my channel. Okay, the good vibes, the good energy, and the donations. I'm so thankful to have you here, okay? All right, I, you guys will definitely come through for me, and I'm thankful for you, okay? Also, um, newcomers, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the tribe, okay? That allows me the permission to channel your energy here now and in future readings, okay? So I, I would love to have you, and um, yeah, red flags. I love to have you, and I do so, uh, I do welcome new, new members to my channel. So let's see. Gemini, message is here for you, lucky star. You can have Aquarius in your chart, or you're dealing with one. Um, lucky star, born with good luck. Things come naturally and effort, effortlessly. More likely to get lucky in life. Okay, Gemini, let's see. Spirit team, we welcome you to dwell here with us today. Protect us as I channel messages for my Gemini signs in collective. Uh, messages for my Gemini signs. Block out all intrusions to allow only clear, precise messages through. Return to sender. Our dark and negative energy that's sent at us tenfold times tenfold. Banish it from us and bind it to the original sender, replacing it with pure love and light and added protection. Okay. And Gemini, I'm sending you that all that back in return as well. And, and lots of love and hugs. I'm a hugger. Okay. So all right, Jim. Let's see. When I split the deck here after I shuffled, I got the total eclipse. And we had a total solar eclipse last month. So it says two souls merging together. Okay, Jen. Two souls merging together. What messages here do we have for Gemini spirit? Messages for my Gemini signs. I'm a Gemini Jupiter and Gemini rising, I want to say, in my Vedic chart. So I can't wait to see what come out. I'm interested to see what come out. Tyrant again. Okay, so you definitely did it with a tyrant, smoker, okay, and let's see, bottom of the deck, we got level five consciousness, and this came out for a few of the other signs, level five consciousness, it says, you've given up destructive habits, you maintain balance in your life, starting to manifest your spiritual being, nice, Gemini, so this is lovely, okay, it's your overall energy there. So, Spirit, give me some messages here for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Let's tap in, Spirit. What messages here for, do you have for Gemini? <laughs> wow. This is literally just self-judgment. It just came out for, I want to say, I know for a fact it came out for Libra. In the same position, too. Self-judgment. Okay, so you guys could be be your own biggest critic here. You could be, um, you know, just judging yourself a bit too harshly, you, you know, right now. Yeah. Lucky Star came out. That's in the reverse. 
twin flame, lucky star, spirituality, all that's falling out the deck. Well, let's see, Gemini. You could be judging yourself too much. Okay, you're being, being too harsh on yourself. Okay. What else here for Gemini spirit? Okay, we got being mindful. Being mindful, it says feeling. It says finding joy in a slower paced life, admiring beauty and small treasures. Okay, and it says living a meaningful and engaged. I'm sorry. It says living a mindful and engaged life. Okay, so this person like it looks like they're in a biker club or eating their emo days, but she's just looking at these flowers and she's just taking it all in. It's time for the smell of the flowers here. You're living a, a mindful, you're being mindful. You're living a mindful life, an engaged life. So you're tapped in, you're plugged in to the nature and stuff and the universe. So let's see. What else for Gemini? What are the messages here for Gemini spirit? Wow, okay. Ooh, true love is out here. True love is here. It says. Experiencing true love in your life, being in a loving, in a loving long-term union, a selfless and unconditional love. Beautiful, true love. Okay. Well, something flew out. Okay, teenage soul. It says exercising free will in life. Um, lessons, exploring, expressing liberty, traits, ego, ambitious, and innovative. Let me see. Do I want to take it? No, I don't have to take it. I'll be only trying to pull three or four of them. Um, karma. On the bottom, it says, Karma, your or their time has come. So, Karma is on the bottom. So, so justice is being served here. I just told you I did a Libra reading, which is the justice. Okay. Cutting ties on the top of the deck. So, let's see. What's going on with you, Libra? I mean, I'm sorry. Gemini. <laughs> let's see. Self-judgment, being mindful, and true love. Let's see, Spirit. Clarify this prayer for Gemini. Okay. Yeah, we recently had a new moon in uh, bringing in the May, the month of May, uh, March seventh. We had a new, a new moon, so that starts. That talks about having a start over, clean slate, okay, fresh new ideas, okay, so we just had a new moon, and I believe the new moon entered Taurus, but now, yesterday, the moon entered Cancer, so, yeah, I just told you I did a Libra reading, there's a justice right there, so, things are being balanced out here for you in your life, okay, in your endeavors, let's see, Spirit, clarify the spread for Gemini. And I will be pulling some goodies toward the end, guys, so you can stick around for that. Let's see. Clarify Gemini spread here. Where are these cards going? <laughs> They're all falling out the date. Let's see. So I gotta get them all right. Play about this prayer for Gemini Spirit. Let's see. I'm going to show you. Yeah. So a lot about travel here. I saw the world. Keep seeing the world in the Six of Swords. A lot about travel. Okay. Let's see. You guys could travel for work. Okay. <clears throat> Messages here for um, Gemini Okay, six of wands is on the bottom, so another six. So you guys could be seeing six, six, six. Okay. All right. Gemini, let's see. Spirit, what's the self-judgment here for Gemini? So there's a victory, though, with the six of wands. You're winning, okay? What's self-judgment here? You're just being self-critical here. It's like a silhouette on this card. But this person has their head down. Okay, so let's see. What's self-judgment? Judgment for Gemini. 
Okay, Ten of Cups here. Okay, so you could have been self judgment or critical of yourself in the past. It could have been an ongoing battle with how you viewed yourself. You could have had a, a negative self image, okay, with self judgment here. Yeah, that's the truth. And the Ace of Swords, with the Ace of Swords and the, and the, and the Ten of Swords, that's your energy there, Gemini, with the Ten of Swords. That's your energy. <clears throat> but this Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords, I'm just, it's 11. So that's, you know, justice being served. 11 is the justice card. But I'm really getting that everything I just said was true. Okay. And there's an ending to how you used to feel about yourself. You had a, you viewed yourself negative, uh, in a negative light, a negative image. But I'm just getting now that you, you see things clear here and you got the truth about things and you're winning. Okay. You're happy and you got to win here. Okay. Yeah. This used to be you. That was the five of cups and that ten of swords. That was you. You used to be sad about yourself. You used to be depressed possibly in your past. But yeah, what did I say? It's, I'm, it's coming up. You used to be depressed in your past. Look, the um, ten of swords, the five of cups here, and the six of cups talks about past. You know, child. It talks about past. Okay, this was you. There was an ongoing battle here, but I'm just getting. Yeah, it used to be. You had a, a negative self judge. Uh, you, you just judge yourself negative uh, in a negative light. That's what I'm getting here. But you, you're finding happiness now here. That's what I'm seeing. There's an ongoing battle. But you're learning your lessons here. Wow, when that's good today, the higher find. You're definitely learning your lessons here. Okay? And you're finding joy in learning your lessons here. Libra energy when I you know, split the deck. and uh, Could be dealing with a Libra. Let's see. Or have it in your chart. And I have, you know, put in the description box below, guys, on how to you know, where to go to check your chart placements and everything. So check it out there. And more about me and how to support my channel is below in the description box as well. Okay, Gemini? So self-judgment and the Ten of Cups. What's this here? Okay. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you got good news coming in here for you. Okay, this could talk about divination as well to roll um, with the Page of Pentacles. But I'm just getting that this is a solid new beginning coming here for you. That's what I get with this, with the, with the Page of Pentacles, you know, uh, the Hermit with the Five, with the Knight of Cups. You're following your heart and you're learning your lessons here. You're going within. You've learned your lesson on how, you know, how to, I'm just, I'm getting how to, how to give yourself love. Okay. You know, by, by following your own heart. Let's look at this here. Give me the, we're going to find out what that good news is. What's the Ten of Cups here? Something something makes you happy here, though. What's the Ten of Cups? Ten of Cups for Gemini. King of Cups on the bottom. King of Cups. Ten of Cups to the Seven of Cups here. Wow. So this Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups, that's 17 Cups, and that's the Star card. So that's Aquarius. So you are dealing with an Aquarius, so you have it in your chart. And then... Got this King of Cups here. Page of Swords, the Seven of Swords. Seven of Wands and the Queen of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. So let's see what this is. You definitely didn't want Aquarius here. The 17 Cups. Okay. So there was a lot of confusion going on within the family unit, a family dynamic or a home. Uh, we're going to see what this is. Give me the Ten of Swords. I'm sorry. Give me the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Ten and the seven of cups. Spirit. Okay, wow. The, the queen of cups. Okay. We saw the just saw the queen of cups on the bottom here. Justice is here on the bottom. Okay. The knight of wands, five of swords, the king of pentacles, the sun, and the two of wands. Okay, so 18 cups now. So this is the moon card. So the moon, Pisces energy, queen of cups is cancer energy. I'm trying to see what this is. Six of Swords when I split the deck. So you are moving and healing. So you guys are, you're, you're a good mother. You, you got your, um, I'm, I'm getting that your heart is in the right place here with this Queen of Cups here. But there were some, I'm going to see what this is. Well, give me the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Seven of Cups and the Queen of Cups. I mean, when I say your cards are flippity flopping all over the place, Okay, wow, five of pentacles in the reverse. So this is nice. Okay, so this is why they're flipping out like crazy. So you're coming out of something here. Your finances is looking good here with this five of pentacles in the reverse. I'm getting that whatever moves, whatever plans you're making about finances is, is coming. It's working out in your favor here. That's what it's looking like with this five of pentacles in the reverse, page of pentacles here in the upright. Um, 
you're making boss moves here. The Queen of Swords, you're making head over heart decisions here. Whatever that is, you're blocking out anything that's like negative or you're blocking it out. Like any thoughts that's coming in your head that's making you feel self judgmental. Like if people, it's like, you know how people project onto you. You know, I'm getting like the Nine of Swords with this. Like people project it onto you to make you feel like you should, you know, that they're judging you and it's making you judge yourself. But I'm getting the truth. You're having to block it out. Okay, there's the King of Cups. You got somebody who genuinely loves you, King of Cups to the Queen of Cups is out here, okay? So, yeah, someone's watching you, though. I don't know. Page of Swords, they're definitely watching you. What did I say? I was getting the Nine of Swords with this card because it, it, it was coming out. It came out here for um, Libra, like I told you, and the Nine of Swords kept showing up, okay? But it's the same thing for you, self-judgment, the Nine of Swords. It's, it's like, it's just, this is Ten Swords, Queen of Swords, and it's Nine of Swords. You've been betrayed here. People, people betrayed you, possibly in your family. I don't know, but you, 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 you turning over a new leaf here with this five of pentacles in the reverse. You turning over a new leaf. Simple as that. Um, the nine of swords here is here. You know, you can be very worried about. You were worried about something. Yeah, you're worried about your home, your family. But I'm just getting that. You, um, you, I, like I said, you're turning over a new leaf. Yeah, you're charging forward here. Okay, you, you're overcoming these obstacles here. This was, this was, it's like I'm getting past energy. Okay. Yeah, your finances are definitely looking better here. Give me the Page of Pentacles, Spirit. Clarify the Page of Pentacles for Gemini. You're a very loving, kind person. Okay, but that Queen of Cups, the Hermit here. Page of Pentacles and the Hermit. So some of you guys could be, um, you're taking a brand new leap of faith for one with the fool on the bottom. But with this page of pentacles and the hermit, I'm getting that you guys are seeking. You could be seeking the divination. This is also talking about seeking the uh, tarot, okay, for advice. It looks like it's self judgment here. If you know, you're just trying to get some clarity here. That's what I'm getting here. And I'm just getting that you're getting away from all the self judgment here or whatever it was. People, people trying to judge, make you feel. Like you should judge yourself or something. This energy, I'm getting that it's being projected onto you. That's what I'm really getting. And you can know this here with the hermit. You could. There's a need to go within to see this here. Even the page of pentacles here and the hermit. It's the page of pentacles and the hermit for Gemini. Yeah, everything I just said was true. You go on with them to seek the truth, to seek answers here, and you're getting the truth from Tarot for some of you here. Um, a, 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 the Ace of Swords is, is air energy. So there's a victory here. Like I said, there's a win here for you. I've already told you that. Queen of Pentacles and the Devil with the, with the Tower. Yeah, you're shaking things up, okay? And I'm getting that it's irritating somebody's demons, okay? <laughs> Literally, you're irritating somebody's demons. You guys could be a healer here with the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, they, yeah, they they definitely project it onto you. Okay, so if you feel it negative energy, they definitely send it onto you. Okay, but I'm also getting protection. You got heavy protection here, but you're being betrayed here as well. But you got heavy protection around you, and you got somebody in your energy. They're sad. They're they're, they're just betraying you here. The truth has come out about this. You have some sort of a breakthrough or a, or an aha moment here with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, you did. Mm hmm. What's the Ace of Swords here? The truth is here. The truth is definitely coming out here. Okay, yeah, you're being successful now. Okay, so you're not being, you know, I'm, I'm getting that you're being a little more kind to, kinder to yourself with that Queen of Cups. Yeah, you avoided the tower here. The tower here is in here in the reverse. It's coming out. Okay, you, you guys got a victory here. You're avoiding the tower. Look, the eight of wands and the nine of wands. You've been able to overcome and persevere this. And you got a brand new beautiful cycle that's um, coming in because you're closing out these cycles here. If you felt judgmental uh, towards yourself, I'm getting that you've been able to overcome this. Okay, simple as that. Yeah, you see things differently here. Wow, you're taking action for sure. And there's protection around you as you do this. Eight of wands, the nine of wands, the ten of swords, and the five of cups. Yeah, you're coming out of this. You're coming out of this energy here because you're avoiding this tower. You got the truth about something. You got mental clarity now about the past or whatever. It's like it's whatever it is. You you you're not being self judgmental to yourself anymore. That energy you understand that it's being projected onto you. You're protected. You see, if you've been feeling stuck or trapped in your head, you need to know that you're protected because your angels are surrounding you 
Because we got people sending sending you possibly sending you negative energy. Okay. Yeah, you and your person are protected. Okay. King of Cups, Queen of Cups is already out here. King of Cups here, the Seven of Wands. This person protects you. Your person is protecting you. You protecting your person, and y'all protecting you guys. Uh, your union, simple as that. And you you balancing out life, and you standing in your power with the magician. That's you. That's you, Gemini, with the magician. You standing in your power here, and you're taking action. The King of Wands, Six of Swords, and you simply healing. You're healing. Simple as that. Healing. Okay. And you living a more mindful and engaged life here. What's being mindful here for Gemini spirit? Being mindful. Okay, judgment. You making final decisions here. Okay, this is reconciliation. Okay, you're speaking your truth here. Whatever it is, you're speaking your truth. Okay, and it's, it's making you happy. The judgment is here. This is second chance. This is forgiveness. Okay. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, you're following your heart. Admiring beauty and small treasures. You, you're following your heart. Okay, that's what being mindful is all about. You're following your heart here. This is so nice, um, Gemini. Give me being mindful and the judgment. What's being mindful with the judgment card? Okay. So this Empress came out in the reverse. I feel like I hit it in the reverse. No, I don't like that. I want to feel confident with that. Give me being mindful with the judgment spirit. What's being mindful and the judgment card for Gemini? Okay, the Knight of Wands. Okay, so this is a quick action. You, you took quick action on something here, and you guys are getting good news. The Justice here, King of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, Four of Swords. Definitely you're dealing with a Libra here. Strong Libra energy you could have in your chart, or you're dealing with one. Let's see. What's the judgment? Clarify the judgment card for Gemini. Yeah, so there, there's, there's a judgment call here. Spirit is stepped in here. There's um, an awakening here to these betrayals here. Okay, you're, you're awakening. You've been betrayed. Okay. Yeah, the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles. You guys are definitely seeing Six, 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 right there in the middle. Six, Six, Six. You're seeing it in the Eight of Cups here after that. And the Devil. Yes, yeah, so you, you would definitely be betrayed here. You walked away from betrayal and um, toxicity here. And I'm just getting that you love yourself. What did I say? You love yourself. You got strong Aquarius in your chart. I can't show along because she make it. But you got strong Aquarius somewhere in your chart. I'm getting that. Or you're dealing with one. Ace of Cups, the star, the moon. Okay. The, the two of wands and the sun. You, you definitely um, balanced out here. Okay. These betrayals that came, they didn't. They only came to. Okay. You're healing from all this here. Okay. There's, there's been an ending somewhere. You definitely ended things. So give me the judgment with the Ten of Swords. Yep, you ended things and you walked away. Okay, and you're charging forward. You or being determined, and you this is another victory. Okay, with a chariot. Okay, over this toxicity. Okay, and you're healing from it with the Queen of Pentacles. You're healing. You're walking away to your healing. Simple as that. Yeah, this is nice. You walk away from things that was um, emotionally unfulfilling you, and you walk because you were being betrayed here. You were simply being betrayed, and there's a need to forgive yourself. Okay, with the judgment, there's a need to forgive yourself. Okay, what's the Knight of Wands? This could be you or someone else. What's the Knight of Wands? Okay, definitely someone else. Now the, the Knight of Wands to this um, to this Knight of Wands. That's ten wands. Ten wands, ten swords, ten cups. You guys could be seeing ten, ten, ten. Okay. But you have you this is a person you refuse their offer here. I'm getting this is a person that was they were very flighty, in and out, okay. They were a burden. Okay, ten this is ten wands. This person was a burden. And you you simply refuse their offer here. Okay, you rejected them. Someone feels rejected here. Okay. The sun, the wheel, things are turning in your favor, changes here for you. But um someone feels rejected in your energy. Yeah, you're closing out these cycles here. There's new beginnings coming here for you. Um, you see things differently here. Queen of Wands and the Emperor. You take an action, okay? You simply take an action here and you protect it. Sagittarius energy here with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Wands. What's this Knight of Wands with this Nine of Swords with the Nine of Wands? The Knights and the Nine of Wands for Gemini. 
<laughs> wow. Yeah, eight of, eight of swords and a magician wanted to fall out the deck. That's your energy. <laughs> wow, strong. Eight of swords and a magician. I believe that's your energy. What's the knight and the nine of wands? The knight and the nine of wands. Wow. You come flying out the deck by yourself. Nice. Nice. Gemini. Whew, this is a nice reading for you. And it's resonating heavy. Okay. It's resonating so heavy. And so you guys, mind, they're just watching you. The Page of Swords and the Emperors, they're just watching you. Okay. But with this Nine of Wands and the Magician, listen, you stood in your power here. Because it's like you have the Ace of Wands in your hand. Because that's Ten Wands. And after the Ten of Wands, it rolls over with the Ace of Wands. You see? So the, the Magician has a wand. Okay, so this is 11 wands. Justice is being served. You, brand, you got a brand new passion beginning coming here. You walk away from things that betrayed you here. And people that betrayed you here. Yeah, you're definitely healing from a karmic male. Okay, I, saw, I see the king of wands and the six of swords. So you're healing from someone who is definitely, they're, 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 they're the deceiver. That's seven swords. They're tricky. Okay, they, they, they're very sneaky, a uh, sneaky individual. Uh, they're, very, uh, they're a hothead too. You're healing from that person. Wow, look at this. Ten of Wands and the Page of Wands. So much fire out here. You could have a lot of fire in your chart or your per or someone does. Someone else has a lot of fire in their chart. The Ten of Wands out here and the Page of Wands. So uh, this is Ten of Wands. We're clarifying, this we're clarifying Ten of Wands. Okay? And here's Eleven of Wands. And I said Eleven of Wands is out here because the Magician has a wand. And now there are Eleven of Wands here, as you can see. So this is good news about these burdens here because you're standing in your power. Simple as that. I'm just counting it up for you. You're standing in your power. There's protection here. You took action here. You don't, you, you're not playing around with you. You, did, you, you, you. you literally took action. Strong Aries here. You guys have strong Aries in your chart somewhere. Okay. You see things differently here. You learned your lessons here. I'm getting that. You're just standing in your power with the Magician here, Gemini. This is you. You're not playing about you. Okay. Oh, wow. This is nice. Let me see something. Give me the Ten of Swords and this Eight of, eight of Cups. Ten of Swords, Eight of Cups for Gemini. Let's see what you, what you walk towards. Or are you walking away to Cloud the Star? <laughs> you're dealing with a star or you are you having, you're dealing with an Aquarius or you have it in, a chart, in your chart. Yeah. You walk the way to your healing. Okay, because like I said, you stood in your power and you learned your lessons here with the higher font. Okay, yeah, the moon, the two of wands, the sun. You balance within. I'm getting you. You, you just simply balance within yourself here. This don't have to be about another person. You simply got balance within you, but this also does talk about a person because you're planning here. The two of wands talk, talks about partnership. So you guys are definitely balanced within yourself and you, you are balanced within a connection as well. Two of wands, you're planning with your person and the sun and the moon is here. That's beautiful. Sun and the moon, that's strong twin flame energy here. Okay. Wow. You're the yin to your person's yang. Okay. Yeah, the wheel of fortune changes here. This is beautiful. Yeah, you're refusing offers for this new love. Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups, you're refusing offers for a new love that's coming in here. Wow. The lovers I've seen, that's your energy. Again, Gemini. So this is beautiful. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. What's true love here? I mean, I just saw, I told you the Ace of Cups. So let's see. What's true love? Out here for Gemini. True love. So this is talking about your energy, the lovers, okay, pretty much. Okay, what's true love for Gemini? True love. Okay, five of swords. Okay, so this is this is what you used to you you learned your lessons from people and uh, relationships that that were uh, um that were like this five of swords energy. Okay, a lot of poor communication, if if none at all. Okay, that's how relationships were were in your past. You learned your lesson from that type of stuff. Okay, a lot about communication here with the Five of Swords. Somebody you just they were underhanded. They were doing a lot of underhanded shit, behavior, trickery, a lot of shit, violence. It could have been um, abuse with the Five of Swords, gaslighting. I mean, you name it. Okay, that's what you used to deal with. But I'm getting now that you're experiencing true love here. There's true love gonna could be coming in for you if not already. Okay, yeah, three of swords. 
someone they're heartbroken. A third party is there, very much heartbroken because you got true love here now. You simply ended things with them. There's an ending here. You ended things that, like I said, the ten of swords talks about an ending. You ended things. Yeah, for sure. You did that. Yeah, the five of wands. Yeah. First, I only want to put you in competition with other people. This could have been going on for about seven years for some of you. I told you about the Ace of Wands. It talks about travel. Okay, but it, what did I say? The Seven of Swords. The person is sneaky. They're very sneaky. You learned a lesson from them, and you're following your heart. That's what I'm getting here. Let's see. You got a true love coming in. You don't have time for this. You learned a lesson from this toxicity. Yeah, look. That's what flew out the deck. The Justice. The Three of Pentacles and the Devil. I promise you, you learned your lesson from this toxicity here, and you're protected. And I'm also getting that that ju with the Justice card, things are being balanced out here. The karma Justice is being served. Karma's going to get their karma. As simple as that. They cannot hide from their karma. They cannot. So let's see. What's True Love here and the Five of Swords for Gemini? True Love and the Five of Swords. All right, so we got the, the five of wands. Like I'm saying, the five five five. You guys are definitely seeing five five five. Okay, but or be out, be out on the lookout for those this week here or the upcoming weeks ahead. Futuristic wise, five 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 is here. Big changes are happening in your life right now. Big changes, guys. Okay, that's what I'm getting here, Gemini. But seeing all these fives here, and this competition is blocked. Whoever tried to put you in competition with other people, whatever it was, there is it's being blocked. Seven of Wands here, seven of Wands and the Five of Wands. That's the hangman. That's twelve. So you see things differently now. You and your person are definitely divinely guided and protected for sure. The Fool, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. That's nine Pentacles. I'm just looking at this. Let's see. And give me the Five of Swords. Clarify the Five of Swords. All right, so we got the King of Swords. So that's, so that's six swords. So you're definitely healing here, okay? You're healing for somebody who, um, like I said, from underhanded behavior here, um, justice is gonna be served to the, to the situation. This this could also be talking about a court case. King of Swords to justice here. Uh, okay, a court case could be going in your favor here, okay? That's six swords, because it's talking about transition and traveling and moving on into karma waters with six swords that I'm counting up here. Okay, three of cups, the knight of cups, and the ace of wands. So that's another sword. So that's the seven swords. So once again, this is definitely somebody who's who's cloaking their energy, a third party who's cloaking their energy. It could be this ex of yours. Yeah, because wow, queen of swords, the devil, the three of pentacles, and the justice. This is an ex. They're an ex of yours. They they are in your energy heavy because you got a true love here. You got a selfless and unconditional love. This could just be a love for yourself. This doesn't even have to be love from someone else. Okay. But this is, you could, it, it could be both. Okay. <laughs> they, they just hate the fact that you got true love here. Okay. Give, who is King of Swords? Five of Swords, King of Swords, Spirit. Who is this person? Uh, I mean, they, they, they looking real shady right now. Give me the King, the Five of Swords and the King of Swords. Who is this person? Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles, somebody who only wanted to slow you down. They, their ass is blocked. They're blocked from you. They're blocked from you. Okay, the Seven of Wands is here. They only wanted to slow you down with the Nine of Pentacles. This night isn't going anywhere. They're not going. They're not moving. Yeah, you've been able to overcome this person. You stood in your power against them. You've overcame them. Gemini, this is you. Okay, the Queen of Swords, that's your energy. You're coming out here strong. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they were very toxic. This person was toxic. They were only trying to keep you from going places. They just wanted to stop you from going anywhere. But you've been able to overpower them and you've been determined and there's another victory here for you with the chariot. So, yeah, you learned your lesson. Yeah. Justice, learn your lesson. Okay, the, the three and the ten of pentacles, that's 13. You transform and you into things to this person here. They're blocked. Whoever they are, yeah, you partnering up with your person. Okay. Somebody who keeps you, you're happy with, the wheel is turning in your favor here. There's, there's the wind, change in the wind right there with the wheel of fortune. Yeah, you're refusing this person off, but they're blocked. Okay, you found true love, honey. You you have King of Swords and a Knight of Pentacles. I'm just looking at this. The higher front. Fell falling out the deck. You learned your lesson. I like my flyers, so let me see. King of Swords and a Knight of Pentacles. Give me the King of Swords and a Knight of Pentacles here for Gemini Spirit. Yeah, Page of Cups, you got good news coming in here now. 
this is good news. Good news and love for sure. Okay, love news, true love. I mean, hey, Queen of Pentacles here on the bottom. Um, somebody who, yeah, Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. And the death card after that and the three of swords. You ended things with a third party. You ended things with a third party after you've seen the results of a situation. You ended things with them. Simple as that. Okay, and you've been healing ever since. Yeah, the strength and the lovers. That's you. The lovers, I can't show them long, but we're talking about true love here. The strength and the lovers here, I mean, you know, this is nice. This is good news coming in here for you because you've been trustworthy, reliable, and unwavering here and very realistic here in your approach. Okay. And, and yeah, and I'm getting that you, you, you coming out with good news because you're moving on to your healing. Six of swords here, like I was saying. You know this. You know this to be true. You freed yourself and you know this to be true. Trust your intuition here. You definitely freed yourself here and you got a new love coming in here. I, that's that's all to it. This is true love here. Like I said, yeah, King of Wands, the Empress here, Page of Swords and Ten of Wands. This person is watching you. They're cloaking their energy. They're definitely watching you. They're watching you get this new love and they're, they, they're, they're burdened by watching you. But the Karma Justice is here because that's, that's 11 Wands. Karma Justice is here. 12 Wands. Page of Wands. So I'm just looking at this child. This is something else. This person, they, you know, they want to come in. This person probably want, possibly wanted to come in and, and, and apologize to you. That's what I'm also seeing, too, with this Page of Cups. Let me see some. Given the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Cups, what, this person wants to apologize. Yeah, I'm getting it. This is just too late. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, you got new love coming in here. Okay, a new job, a new car, a new home, something tangible here with the Ace of Pentacles. This is good news because you ended things with a third party. Okay, you have, you ended things, yeah, the, the Three of Swords. After that, we got the Seven of Swords. So that's Ten Swords. You've been betrayed and you ended things. Okay, you, you followed your heart and you ended things. And now things are being balanced out here for you. Like I said, the Wheel, the Sun, and the Two of Wands. Foresight, you're planning ahead, you're taking a brand new leap of faith. Whatever this is, this is good news, okay? Good good news and love and finances here. Give me the five of wands. If somebody wanted to put you in competition and shit, this could be internal conflict or external conflict, okay? Five of wands here. Let's see. It's the five of wands. Yeah, the two of wands. <laughs> it's blocked. This five of swords, energy, five of wands, this shit is about that seven of wands. And justice is being served here. And you've learned your lesson from this toxicity here. You simply learned your lesson from the three of pentacles and the, and the uh, devil. Yep, you took action. The fool, the queen of wands, and the emperor. You took action. Yep, queen, the, the queen of swords and the chariot. And you're overcoming this person. They're blocked. They're in your energy block. They, only, they probably only wanted your money. Okay, that's probably that's possibly what the apology is. is, is covering up. They only want your money. Let's see. The five of wands and the two of wands. King of Pentacles here. Okay. This person is married. Okay. King of Pentacles flying out the deck like this. They've been married here. Okay. Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here. The lovers. Or this could be you and your person here. This, yeah, you're planning. This is what this is. Yeah, you turned your back on this competition here. Two of wands here. You're planning. You got foresight. Okay, you're planning with your person. The King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles is here. Counterpart energy. That's you and your person. That's your energy there, Gemini. That's you, the lovers. Okay, and we're talking about true love. Okay, the King and the Queen of Pentacles. The Empress is here. They're, you got somebody, they're, they're just in your energy watching you be happy with someone who's loyal, dependable, generous, faithful to you. Okay, you're faithful to them. Okay, you guys are investing. You're making a good investment. Whatever you're doing, you're making a good investment here. Gemini, that's what, it's, that's what it's saying. Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Okay? You're making a good investment here, whatever it is. Eight. Let me count these Pentacles. Seven, eight, nine. The Knight of Pentacles is ten Pentacles. And then you got the Ace of Pentacles out here. Like, damn, whatever move that you're making is a boss move. It's a boss move. Okay? Simple as that. You're the Empress, Gemini. You're making a boss move here. Wow, this is nice. Whatever you're doing, you're doing the right thing. Okay. Yeah. Two of wands going into the three of wands. You're waiting for your ships to come in. And they're coming in. Three of wands, the ace of wands. What did I say? The ten of pentacles and the four of wands. You're doing all this here. This is why you're doing this. 
This is why you're doing this for stability, for security, okay, happiness, celebration here, legacy, okay, wealth, generational wealth here. This is what you're waiting on. This is why you're doing and making these moves. And you're passionate about doing this here. Wow. A lot of fire energy here. Four of wands, ace of wands, three of wands, four, seven, eight. That's eight wands. And it's coming in fast. The eight of wands is the second fastest card in the deck after the chariot. It's coming in fast. Look, that's your energy there with the gem, uh, Gemini with the uh, Knight of Swords. But your wishes and your dreams are, are being fulfilled and met. You satisfy, you're content. You got a brand new cycle coming in here. You're closing out cycles. And it's shit is coming in fast, quick with the swiftness with that Knight of Swords. Look, Three of Cups, you're celebrating here. And Page of Wands, more good news. I, I can't make it up. This is beautiful. You learned your, all because you learned your lessons here. Wow, spiritually, you learn these lessons spiritually here. Spirit is blessing you guys. I'm serious. Like, this, it's coming out. Okay, give me the King of Pentacles, Spirit. Two of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Like, you, you're making boss moves. I don't, I don't care what nobody says. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is here. Yep, change is here. <laughs> Period. <clears throat> change is here, baby. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, you're closing out these cycles here. Okay, the karma is being served. I'm just getting changed. The cycles of life, you got Tars, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio here. You could be dealing with in this Wheel of Fortune card. Okay, strong Scorpio. You've ended things here, and you're transforming. Simple as that. You learned your lesson that justice is being served. It's, it, it keeps coming out. Three of Pentacles and the Three of Swords, definitely over a third party here. <laughs> They're just heartbroken because you got a new love, and they only wanted to come in and betray you and use you up. That's all they wanted to do. But you followed your heart here. You followed your heart. And I'm getting that you made the right decision. That's what it's looking like. And you're leaving somebody just sad about it. Oh, well. Okay, not Gemini's problem. Stay on my mic one second. Okay, so let's see. Let's get you guys some more clarity. And I'll um, close out your reading with a Oracle message here. So, yeah, reconciliation here. Okay, the judgment talks about reconciling clarify Gemini spread spirit well, let's see if the reading has resonated guys com um, if it's resonating um, comment below and let me know <clears throat> Let's see, spirit messages for um, Gemini. Let's get some more clarity. New love. What did I say? A new love. Your love life is about to take off. A new romantic offer or even several offers are coming your way. Don't let the past hold you back. Embrace the newness. Like I said, you definitely got a new love coming here. True love. A new love. That's true. Ooh. Gemini. Yeah. The leap of faith here. You're taking that leap of faith. You're doing that. Clarify the spread for Gemini spirit. What else? Yeah, transition. What did I say? You're transitioning here. Wow. You're undergoing a significant life change or entering into a time of transition. Growth will only be possible by suspending your desire to fill the uncomfortable void that you feel. Wow. Let's see, Gemini. Spirit, clarify the spread for Gemini. Like I said, self-love. It, it can just be even self-love. That's true. Self-love 33, your, your focus will be putting yourself first and showing yourself the love you've been longing for because there's a desire to shift and rise up to be to something more meaningful. More meaningful? Yeah. Wow. Let's see. Clarify the spirit for Gemini spirit. Let's see. All right. Ending. What did I say? Something definitely ended here. Ten of Swords is out here. Something will come to an end that must take place before you can free yourself to move forward. Let go of what was, celebrate the good, and forgive the bad. It's all part of the journey. Okay. Let's see, Spirit. Give me some messages here for Gemini. Clarify Gemini spread. Messages for Gemini spread. Spirit. Let's clarify. Yep, reconciliation. First card out here. An old love, uh, so it says 15. That's the number 15. An old love interest will come back and come back wanting to re reconcile and rebuild. It may be worth hearing what they have to say, but it's up to you if you want to give them a second chance. Okay. 
reconciliation there. We got the judgment out here, so thank you for the confirmation. Spirit, what else for Gemini? Okay, so we got progress and support. Progress says, if things have been slow or you've been feeling unfulfilled lately, expect a strong shift that will shake things up for you to liberate you of this funk that you have been in. Number six. Okay. You're definitely shaking things up. Support. Number 14, it says, so we got 14 and 15 now. Support. Someone will come into your life to offer the support and, and stimulate your personal growth. Their act of kindness will help you see and believe the magic within you. Okay. Support. What else here? Uh -oh. What else for Gemini Spirit? What else? Some more messages for Gemini Spirit. Okay. So we got ancestors. Okay. Your ancestors are rooting for your success as they watch you break ancestral karma. One step at a time, more gets cleared and more growth sinks in. 36. Okay, balance. Number 26. Balance is being restored. You're harnessing a level of self-mastery and possibly even reinventing yourself after finding your personal power through your own struggles. 26, and it's right above the magician here. So, yeah, you're definitely, um, you know, standing in your own power here, your personal power. You're finding your power. What else with um, for Gemini? What else here for Gemini? Okay, health. So it says health. Number 10, expect to have a boost in your energy levels or an increase of healthy activities that will greatly improve your overall health as well as help you maintain a positive mindset. Number 10, and partnership is here on the bottom. Okay. So it says partnership. A, a new partnership is making its way into your life who will see your true potential and help you reach it. This could turn into a very beneficial partnership and even possibly even romantic. Okay. So let's see what else for Gemini. I can take, take some more messages. Wow, home. Okay, so we got home. This is a time when you will spend more time at home, uniting with family or creating your own, making decisions to accomplish the family purpose to build a stronger bond. 66. Okay, bottom of the date, there's forgiveness. Okay. You're finally getting over someone, something or someone. And though it wasn't easy, you, you will ultimately forgive and move on peacefully to set yourself free. And then we got travel here on the bottom. Okay, travel, is, 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 it came out last. So it says travel, 54. There could be an opportunity to, to, to travel that will break up your daily routine and also help you, help you discover and consider fresh ideas you hadn't thought of before. Okay, so some of you guys are traveling or you need to travel, okay? And that'll help you get some fresh ideas. All right, definitely with the um, you're gonna have fresh ideas and decision making with the Ace of Swords out here. So I'll take some more messages for Gemini. What else for Gemini? What else for my Gemini spirit? What else? Okay. All right. So we got patience here. You put in the work and now you are waiting to reap the benefits. Keep believing that your season is coming. The good you have put out in your life will manifest. There is no need to rush it. 65. So 66 and 65 is out here. And so it's talking about manifesting, which is your energy, Gemini. Discovery. And now we got 55. Discovery, you will soon discover within you the immense knowledge and skills that remained undeveloped, unlocking the magician within you that would lead to emotional fulfillment and newfound confidence. Period. Period. This is so nice. That's you. You're the magician. Okay, the Empress is here, 53. You're transforming into the Empress. You will feel more confident, looking better, and realizing your own worth and standing up for, for what you deserve. No more settling for less. You're the Empress. Okay, and it's right above the star. The God. It's right above the star card. The past here, okay, and signs. So let's see what else here for um, Gemini Spirit. I'll take some more messages for Gemini. What else for Gemini?
What else for Gemini? I'm using my butterfly effect oracle. Okay. Wow, new love is on the bottom, guys. Okay, so out here we have passion. Okay, we saw a lot about the Ace of Wands and stuff. I told you the, the magician got the, uh, the Ace of Wands. Passion, you're, you're, you are <laughs> reawakening your passion and allowing it to transform into a sense of purpose for life. No longer depriving yourself from the life you dreamed of and proving all your naysayers wrong. 23, nice, Gemini. Awakening, and it's right over it's right over this magician here. Awakening, okay, you will find yourself waking up to new awareness and deeper consciousness that will transform your life and allow you to and allow your beautiful light to emerge. Okay. This is lovely, Gemini. What else for Gemini Spirit? more for Gemini. All right, I'll take one more. And I'll get you guys an oracle message. Romance. On the bottom, love is yours to take. The person on your mind is going to make a romantic gesture in hopes to rekindle the love in your connection. Oh, Gemini. So out here, we got protection. I've been saying this a lot in your reading. You got protection here. You are divinely guided and protected. It says, trust that you are being divinely guided right now. There will be extra protection around you as you face uncertainty over the changes that are occurring in your life. Number 30, happiness. You're entering a period of happiness and leaving dark times behind you. Taking steps into a new chapter where happiness begins and peace is restored. And you're getting all that. The, the, the star card is out here for peace and tranquility. Okay. You're leaving dark times behind you. The five of pentacles is here in the reverse. Okay. And you're, and, you're, and you're going towards your happiness. All right. The unseen. So it says, though life may seem uneventful to you, it doesn't mean things aren't happening behind the scenes while you rest. Trust and surrender to the universe. 52. Oh, wow. This is lovely, Gemini. Top of the deck is purpose. Okay, so it says purpose. There will be an urgent invitation to live your soul's journey. Receiving guiding messages. Receiving guiding messages to keep you on purpose and answer the call. Answer the calling so that you can live and contribute soulfully. Okay, so you got a soul purpose here. Okay, for your soul journey here. I mean, you know, this is what we do here on the channel, so... It's, it's resonating. Let's see, Gemini. Let's get you guys an oracle message. Okay. To solidify your reading. Spirit, give me an oracle message that's in alignment with Gemini spread here. An oracle message that's in alignment for Gemini. And this is my Gaia oracle. Let's see. Messages here for my Gemini signs here. Okay. Oracle message for Gemini spirit. What do we have for my gems? Let's see. Thinking of you, 29. Thinking of you. Someone misses you. So it says a love and thought serendipity so someone's thinking of you okay all right let's see i'll read this for you number 29 so you guys could be the age 29 let's see thinking of you is on page 59 some of you guys could be the age 59. So let's see, thinking of you, that number could be significant. You could have been born in the year 1959. Take it as it resonates. Let's see. This card is confirmation that someone you have been thinking of is also thinking of you. Ooh. Didn't I just read about somebody thinking about you or something? Yeah, romance. Romance was saying that. The person on your mind. So yeah, let's see. 
This card is confirmation that someone you have been thinking of is also thinking of you. It may be someone who have, who has passed away or a living friend, family member or loved one. Our thoughts and feelings are energy frequencies or wavelengths that transcend space and time. We all transmit and receive information through our thoughts and feelings. It makes no difference whether someone is near or far, alive or has passed away. We are subconsciously in constant communication with those we think about and love. Having heard this, you probably imagine your thoughts traveling through space and time. However, in actuality, nothing really travels anywhere. This is because energetically or spiritually, there is no separation in the first place. We are all interconnected and ultimately one, eternally held within an ocean of divine love. The great cosmic ocean of life is as vast and endless as we can imagine it to be. And at the same time, it can be smaller than the smallest particle. So the affirmation here for you, Gemini, here is, okay, all I love lives forever in my heart. I am one with all humanity. I am one with all creation. I am in constant communi communion with everyone. Time and space are real only when I believe they are. Okay, so that's your, that's the affirmation for your reading here. Okay, for someone thinking of you. All right, could be someone living or passed on. Okay, we're all connected here. Okay, Gemini, so this is your reading. Okay, I hope it resonates for you. Comment below and let me know and subscribe to the tribe. I love to have you guys. Until next time, Gemini, take care. Bye.